What if I told you that you could control and maintain all your vivarium parameters using one single incredible device? Thanks to the Felix Smart 2, this is possible. One of my biggest goals in animal keeping will be to successfully reproduce my endangered Chinese crocodile lizards. Be sure to watch today's video all the way through for a small update on these animals as well as an interactive feeding experience involving some handling. It should really come as no surprise to any of us that every single year, more and more families and individuals are choosing to keep specialty pets in their homes. Everything from reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, and fish are being welcomed into families. And with that, we're seeing an increase in the industry's innovation. Today, I'm very excited to be unboxing, setting up, and showing you a very interesting device that allows you to automate and facilitate really every process involved with maintaining a healthy aquarium terrarium. That's right, today we're gonna be unboxing the Felix Smart. So what is Felix? Felix is a smart computer for your animal's habitat or enclosure. From aquariums to terrariums and everything in between, Felix gives you control of every device associated with keeping your enclosure running through your Felix app. Its smart water monitor measures temperature, ammonia levels, acidity, and light levels. While the submersible 360 camera lets you view your enclosure from anywhere in the world. So now let's go ahead and unbox the device, set it up, and see what it's all about. I wanna take a moment to sincerely thank Felix Smart for sponsoring today's video. Let's get right into it. Okay, everybody. The first thing you'll notice when you open up your Felix box is that it doesn't come with a set of instructions. Instead, when you download the app, the instructions will be provided to you there. It'll even include step-by-step -step video tutorials, making everything very easy to follow. Dun -da 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 -da. Here it is, everybody. The future of animal husbandry. Now we just have one last little package that they sent me separately to open. This box contains a very cool piece of equipment that connects to the Felix. This is the Felix Smart Water Sensor. And let me tell you, I was really impressed by what this device is capable of reading. So here we go, everybody. I know it looks like I dissected a computer on this table, but this equipment is going to make the paludarium run so smoothly. I'm very excited to put it all to work. Let's go ahead now and install the Felix. The first thing you're going to do is plug in your power cord and then plug it into an outlet and switch the device on. After a short period of time, you're going to notice that a green light's going to start flashing as the device powers up. Eventually, your light bar is going to turn a solid blue color. Once this light is on, you can follow the instructions to connect your Felix to the internet and begin programming your devices. Before we finish setting up my Felix Smart, let's have a look at my Chinese crocodile lizards and see how they're doing. As you can see here, this female is relishing some delicious nightcrawler earthworms. This is easily one of the animal's favorite foods to consume. As most of you have observed, one of the things I find super rewarding is building trust between my animals and I, but I do it on their terms. As you can see here, my Chinese crocodile lizards are no exception to the formula. My goal is always to establish healthy relationships with my animals, founded in their own decision of whether or not to interact with me. By using operant conditioning, I'm able to teach this animal to come onto my hand by rewarding her with the worm. These moments are always very special for me because my style means that the animal is never forced to interact with me. It's always their choice. Here is my male Shinisaurus crocodilurus. I really appreciate all the name suggestions you guys gave me a few videos ago. I still haven't narrowed it down to one I like best yet, but look at this boy go. Isn't he so handsome? With regards to breeding the animals, unfortunately none of them have produced any young yet, 
but I have seen courtship related behavior, not in the last few months, and although I was starting to feel discouraged, this girl here, who I did decide to name Rexy from the T-Rex in Jurassic Park, is looking very plump. So we may be looking to do a new ultrasound soon with Dr. Brown because she is honestly very big and she seems to be getting a lot more bloated and her activity and feeding response seems to be growing significantly since days have been getting longer and temperature has been going up ever so slightly. So that's pretty much as far as I can go with regards to offering an update on these animals. There's still a chance that Rexy here is pregnant, but in case she isn't, all we can really do is provide the correct parameters for the animals, offer a good winter dormancy next season, and try again next year. Thankfully the animals are super healthy, and eating, and active, and that's the most important thing. But breeding them would be a dream and incredibly important as far as the species representation in captivity in the country of Canada goes. Okay everybody, so I am currently sitting in the wall space behind the paludarium enclosure. Now that our Felix Smart is connected to the internet, I wanna set it up exactly where I'm gonna have it, behind the enclosure so that all the wires can run smoothly in and out of the enclosure for the different devices we're gonna be using. So we're gonna go ahead now and install everything into the Felix Smart and program the device to control all of our different lights, filters, heaters, etc. And then afterwards, you know, we'll, we'll add our camera, our Felix water monitor, and a few other things, the, the humidity sensor, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be very exciting to see how things go. Okay, so the first device we're gonna plug in here is our canister filter. Now we can easily program all sorts of functions for each individual socket, but because we want our filter to stay on 24 seven, we're going to create a manual function and just have it be on from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. and repeat every single day. Very simple, straightforward. We want it to stay on at all times. The next device we're gonna plug in is my water pump on the opposite side of the enclosure. So we'll start by giving the device a custom name, water pump, and then we'll set it the same way as our filter to be on 24 seven. So basically we're just gonna keep plugging each device in, naming them and programming them as we need them to function. Here we're going to plug in my computer fans that will aerate the enclosure. As you can see here, I'm setting a cycle that turns them on eight times a day through different intervals. This is just one testament to the true potential of programming your devices you can implement using your Felix. Now that we've plugged in and programmed all our devices, it's time to add the Felix gear. This here is the humidity and temperature sensor. So we're just gonna go here and plug it into one of the USB ports and you'll see that as soon as we do, the light comes on telling us that it's functioning. So we just need to place this in an area that stays dry. Obviously it needs to be able to have air pass through it to give us the readings, but it should not be allowed to get wet. Keep that in mind. So we're gonna take it and have it come through the back lid and we'll place it hanging in the back of the enclosure. So here I'm particularly excited about getting the Felix Smart Water Monitor running. This is going to measure our ammonia, pH, temperature. It's gonna be really handy. Now, before we go and place this device into the water, it's very important that we first activate and install one of the water slides. This device comes with three of them and they should be replaced monthly. Now that the slide is installed, all we need to do is go to our settings, monitors and probes, and from here, we're gonna hit settings again, and we're gonna scan the QR code provided on the cover of our slip. Our device will read it and connect it to the application. As you can see, there's already a 29 days left reminder for us to replace the slide. Perfect. Offer the device a few hours to start delivering proper ammonia readings to your application. 
Looks like I'm ready to start setting up my devices. I'm pulling them through the back lid slots provided in my terrarium lid and I'm going to bring them down into the water and set the humidity temperature probe somewhere directly below my basking area. I've carefully selected a spot for the Felix Smart water monitor to be situated next to my flow pump so that it has sufficient water flowing through it at all times to get an accurate reading. As you can see, the device is reading 0.001 parts per million ammonia in the tank, which is what I love to see. Another really cool feature about this device is you can actually point it directly at your lighting to measure it and ensure that it's providing your plants or corals with exactly what they need. It gives you instant readings. One of the fun devices I was looking forward to implementing into my Felix setup was the 360 camera. Here we're going to give it a test drive and plug it in ahead of everything else we installed before and see how it looks in the tank. The camera comes mounted to a very sturdy bendable arm and the end of that arm links up with a very nice clamp that can either be fixed onto, you know, your branches in the enclosure or if you're an aquarium hobbyist, this can easily and safely be clamped to the side of an open lid aquarium without any risk of scratching or damaging the glass. Now all that was left to do was carefully submerge the camera in a relatively open space within the enclosure so we can then go on to the application, turn the camera on, and test it out. So here is a demonstration of how the camera works. From your Felix menu you'll hit camera in the bottom left corner there. And it's going to take some time to buffer, give it a sec. Okay, here we go. And now it's showing. So welcome to your camera view. You'll want to turn your phone horizontally and then you can just swipe around in a 360 degree fashion. It's pretty cool. Now I will say that the quality of the footage is, is alright. It's not the sharpest ever, but I mean it gets the job done and it's a really interesting perspective into your enclosure to be able to watch the animals. And there we go, we can see me there. And now you'll see that there is a little bit of a delay there, so I just wave to myself at the screen. Now if you wait a sec, we're gonna see that I'll wave back. So there it is, right? So that's uh, like what eight second delay, not too shabby, and I'm sure a lot of that is dependent on your internet connection. But yeah, it's a really Really cool feature. One of the amazing things about Felix is the ability to create IFTTTs, which are if this then that functions. So you can actually go into the application and tell Felix that if a certain thing happens, you want something else to happen. For example, we can tell Felix to turn off the computer fans if the humidity reading given by the humidity monitor is less than a certain level. It'll also send your phone a notification to let you know through the Felix app. Amazing. Now that we know quite a bit about what this device is capable of, everything from watching your animals with the 360 camera, ensuring that all their parameters are met and dealt with carefully, notifying you of any changes, and more, I want to ask you all for today's question of the day. If I were to send you a Felix Smart right now, what would you set it up with and why? Let me know what animals you think would do great with this device. I mean, frankly speaking, many, many, many of them would do great with one. And what would you set up for configuration? What sort of things would you be watching for? Maybe it's soil temperature, maybe it's humidity in the enclosure at large, lights, etc. I want to hear about it. And let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give you a comment at heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thank you. Friends, as always, I want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank all my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much for your additional support there. You guys truly are spectacular. If you knew what your small contributions make up in the grand scheme of things to help run everything I do here, it's just truly touching and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You already know the amazing perks associated with becoming a patron. You get the sneak peeks, discounts on merch, upcoming contests, and more. Five $5 and up tiers, get the handwritten thank you letter cards. We're gonna be doing some Q&A videos, exclusive content, and monthly giveaways. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna learn more about how you can become a patron for as little as $2 a month, 
and also get a nice little shout out here as a thank you, you can check out the link down below in the video description. And with that being said, we're gonna do those said shout outs. Today we're gonna be thanking Jade and Bonnie Angela and Jenny Lynn. Thank you so much for becoming my newest channel patrons since my last video. I really appreciate your support and I'm really excited to have a direct line of communication with all of you to chat about the animals we love. Well friends, you may have noticed that I haven't posted a video in a whole week. If you missed my community page post, which you should kind of try and pay attention to, I post updates there regularly. I unfortunately do have COVID-19. And uh, yeah, I guess it got me after two and a half years of staying clear. Don't worry, you're not gonna catch it through the screen. You're good, you don't need a cover up or anything, you're safe. But I just do wanna say I'm really sorry that I didn't post the video last week. It's kinda kicking my butt. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this thing sucks. Um, I'm fine, thankfully, and I wanna say thank you so much to all of you who wrote me and, and sent well wishes. I'm truly touched and I feel so supported by the Reptiliatus community. So that's what happened, I'm sorry about it, and I can't wait to slowly feel better and get back to posting twice a week for you guys. Okay guys, so with that all being said, we're gonna end the video here. I wanna again sincerely thank Felix for sending me this incredible device. I'm really looking forward to providing you all with some updates in the coming weeks as I show you how the Felix is doing as far as maintaining and just running my paludarium behind me. So stay tuned for that. I gotta say I'm really excited about the Felix. Installation was fairly straightforward and now that it's running and doing its thing, it's working quite excellent. So I can see why anyone with a more complicated enclosure that has many functions and as many products as this thing has connected to it to have it running well, would want it all connected to one central hub, automated and well, it's also pretty sweet that you can control it from your phone, get the notifications when things are going the way you want them to or not. Very good. So, that all being said, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you again so much. If you guys are interested in purchasing your own Felix Smart unit or you want to just learn more about the product, check out the link down below in the video description to their website where you can learn more information about the product and order your very own Felix to your home. If you guys want to see more videos pertaining to my Shinisaurus Crocodilurus, check out the video playlist up above. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all in a few days for our next video this week. Take care everybody, see you soon, thanks.